Hey guys, it's Cam from Techlight, and today I'll be showing you guys some tips and tricks for the OnePlus 5T. So the first tip I have for you guys is to quickly open the camera app. So the quickest way to do so would be to double tap the power button. Alternatively, you can also use gestures while the screen is off to open the camera app. You can enable those features within the settings. You go in settings and you go a button just toggle to press the power button twice to open the camera you go into gestures you can choose a gesture to open the camera while the screen is off so while we're in the camera app another feature that i want to show you guys is when you want to switch modes such as going from photo to panorama or slow motion simply swipe up from the viewfinder and all your modes are going to be presented there if you want to dive deeper into the camera settings simply tap the gear icon on the upper right hand corner and it'll bring you to a settings page for the camera where you can turn on the location data or you can add a watermark. So moving on to the next tip are gestures. Bring up the settings app again, scroll down to customization and under that you'll find tab for gestures. There you can choose to use Things like a three finger screenshot, which I found really helpful because it's a lot easier than reaching for the power button and the volume down button to capture a screenshot. There are also uh, gestures for things like swiping down the fingerprint sensor on the back to open up the notification shade, which is really helpful on a tall phone like this. And there's also a gesture to long press the fingerprint scanner while you're in the camera app to take a photo. That is also really helpful, especially if you're taking a selfie with a group and you don't want to reach for the shutter button. Of course, there are the screen off gestures where you can just draw certain letters to open certain apps. Moving on, I want to show you guys some tips for the navigation buttons. Bring settings back up. Go back down to the customization, click on buttons. You can find options to swap the buttons. If you prefer the way Samsung has it, you can do that. Uh, you can also add a extra toggle to the site to hide the navigation bar if you're in like a full screen app and you want to utilize the full screen. This is a great feature for OnePlus. You can assign uh, long press actions and double tap actions for all three of the navigation bar icons. So I have the double tap on the home button to turn off the phone so I don't have to reach for the power button. The next tip I have for you guys is to customize the notification shade. So you can do this by swiping down on the notification shade and tapping the pencil icon on the upper right hand corner. You can just drag icons and move them around. The one thing I do recommend for you guys is to make sure you have the first five icons as the ones that you use the most because those will be the ones that you see when you first pull down the shade um, and once you're done just click the back button to save it going to the next tip is to adjust the home screen layout and adding widgets long press on the home screen click on settings there you can have the option to turn on or off the shelf which is oneplus's take on google now but not really it's a central place to hold all your widgets you can also toggle on or off the feature where you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen and it'll bring down the notification shape. You can also enable app shortcuts. It's kind of like Apple's 3D Touch without the 3D Touch part. You can long press on an app if it's supported and it'll bring up a list of shortcuts where you, if you tap on it, it'll bring you straight to that action. Here is something that's really useful for OnePlus to do. So with the OnePlus default launcher, you can actually install icon packs without having to install a separate launcher from the Play Store. So staying on that same page of settings, just click on icon packs, open you up to a page and you can choose between the OnePlus default icon pack or you can click more and it'll bring you up to the Google Play Store and you can search for icon packs. And there you can just install any icon packs that you want. Staying on that same page, OnePlus also allows you to adjust the home screen layout so you can have different grid sizes and icon sizes. And there's even a button, if you notice, it's to reorganize all your app icons to the default setting. The next tip is the ability to adjust what shows up in your status bar. 
So dive back into settings. Go into status bar. You can choose the battery style you want there. So you can choose a battery bar, circle, or you can hide the battery bar completely. And you can choose whether or not you want to have the percentage show. You can even display the network speed and change whether or not you want to have seconds show for the time. And I really enjoy this. Now, OnePlus even allows you to choose which icons you want to display on the status bar. So, for example, if you're someone who doesn't like that big, ugly, fat NFC icon, you can disable that. If you know you're going to be using a certain feature a lot and you just don't want to see it because you know you're using it, you can also turn that off. Moving on is the display. So go back into settings, go down to device and display. There you can adjust things like the theme of the display where you can choose between default light and dark. Default is basically like a mix between dark and light. With the light and dark theme, you can also choose the accent colors of the icons, which is really neat. With OnePlus, you can choose between different calibrations like sRGB or DCI-P3 gamuts. The next tip is the alert slider. This is unique to OnePlus. Just go down into customization again and tap on alert slider. There, you can adjust the settings for the silent and do not disturb and ring modes. The last thing I have for you guys here is checking for system updates. So if you dive into settings one more time, you can go and check system updates. Something that's great about this is that you can click on change log. It will actually show you the features that was added the last time you did the update. So you can see what was updated. I hope you guys found these tips and tricks on the OnePlus 5T helpful and I hope they help improve the experience on the OnePlus 5T for you guys. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching this video guys and I'll see you in the next one.